the actual report will start at the six minute mark until then I have a lot of things to say about this tree conifers have a great range of habitat generally uh, in altitude and latitude and that gives them uh, a phenotypic variation that means that uh, we see different foliage variants even in the same species for example within the Japanese white pine depending on the area the seeds came from this tree had always uh, lighter green colored needles but this year the color is worse I reparted and uh, styled this tree in January of 2022 so that is two and a half years ago since then that's the first time I see multiple buds on the tips of the branches that formed in August since the repot branch tips produce a single bud um, showing relatively weakness no work has been done on the tree since then other than removing all the wires here are some other Japanese white pines that have different foliage variants this one for example has way more desirable foliage which is short thick uh, deeper bluish green color by the way this tree was reported in style in the first day of October of 2023 here is another example of a different foliage type which has good color but uh, the needles are longer and twisted which uh, seem more feminine this tree was reported in style uh, on the first week of October of 2022 no work has been done on it since then back to the main tree now uh, the color of the foliage looks worse than it is uh, since last year I did not remove the older needles so now the two year old needles are yellowing and browning and uh, they are on the way of the tree so this tree has been fed properly and had uh, three uh, chelated iron boosts uh, throughout the growing season so nitrogen and iron deficiencies are ruled out so what contributes to the weak needle color then i came to the conclusion that the old akadama substrate has broken down to a point that no oxygen is supplied to the roots so roots are dying and therefore less nitrogen goes up the foliage i probably did a poor job last repot and did not uh, remove adequate amounts of the old very ineffective Akadama substrate and uh, the tree now suffers now this is approximately the new fraud I'm striving to as you can see I lose a bit of the normal taper just above the nebari but I gain a bit of uh, movement uh, in the lower trunk but in the the upper trunk as well uh, which excites me more plus uh, some branches sit in a better plane uh, for a more exciting silhouette down the line the nebari of this tree is quite good and I will try to expose a little bit more of it uh, by lifting the tree slightly up since I'm going for a azimuth uh, turn I'm removing more material from these two corners and to be able to turn the tree into that tight pot the other corners will be worked more and more of the old soil removed uh, in the next report which I guess it will be around 2028
But having strong baths on the tips for next year means that there are some roots that still healthy and active and my guess is that the, these exist in the corners of the pot where there was more of my aggregate inorganic substrate and probably some at the very bottom. It looks like I've got a good amount of active healthy roots in the corner but to tell you the truth um, the rest looks way worse than I expected. Um, here is some mycorrhiza. On the sides where the old root ball was placed tight against the walls of the pot and there was no room for me to put any of my mix uh, the situation of the roots is dire. There was no oxygen percolation and therefore there were no alive roots. The bottom looks very bad, worse than I thought, so I need to change my plans and remove now way more old soil or akadama that has broken down than I thought I would. It's gonna be a full-on repot. While the corners are healthy and active on the sides and the bottom whole chunks of dead black roots are coming up. It is actually really bad. But I guess the, the situation of this uh, root system explains the imbalance of uh, weak needle color but strong uh, budding on the tips. I will not touch the healthy corners, leave them untouched to continue supplying the foliage after the repot. Although this tree was scheduled to be reported next spring, March 2025, I don't want to leave the tree like that through the cold and wet winter. Since now we have a forecast of several cool and rainy days ahead, I'm doing it now. I have decided to make an uncle change as well, a bit counterclockwise to trying to bring forward some different characteristics that I like and I want to slightly lean the apex towards the front. In early spring I removed the topsoil that had been clogged by Akadama and I dug as deep as I could without disturbing the root system especially at the corners of the pot and replace the the old bad soil with fresh inorganic mix. During that procedure I saw new active and healthy roots close to the top. In my garden I still have about eight to nine weeks before hibernation Autumn peak color of Japanese maple designates the beginning of hibernation for the conifers and that's at the last two weeks of November for me. In the time between now and the end of November the, the roots of this tree will heal and start penetrating the new soil. I believe that this tree will need two seasons to recover and strengthen up to a point where it will be healthy enough to wire fully. Plants change and patience is necessary. A layer of uh, pure palm is for the bottom and above it I will put um, a layer of uh, 60% zeolite which is a bit finer and 40% pumice. 
This will provide maximum oxygen to the roots and that will make uh, the recovery faster. Now for the actual position changes. I'd like to lean it more to the front but that will require a more developed and healthy root system so this will have to wait until the next reporting. Nevertheless this uh, leaning is adequate for now. I'm placing some soil from a healthy Austro black pine seedling which has abundant amounts of our endemic uh, mycorrhiza and that is in an effort to repopulate the root ball with my endemic mycorrhiza. If I get a warm day uh, in the forecast for the next two weeks, I will uh, place the tree under a bright shade. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's all full sun for this one with uh, one or two foliage mists per day. I will water the tree with uh, root activators in 10 days and I will do a second uh, application of that in October. The tree will look much better with uh, placing the branches into uh, their new position after the, the changes.
looks like the vast majority of the pumice dust is out. This is my vision for the future styling of this tree. Um, a more narrow, slightly taller apex with a wider base and that back branch on the left sticking out of the silhouette which I find quite important for the style. Thank you for your time.